Good afternoon. Welcome to Druids and the second part of the Citral Sale in conjunction with me, Nina Campbell. Come and have a look and see what we've done for the Druids. A pair of lovely chairs and a pair of rather interesting army gentlemen, beautifully turned out. And then let's go into the dining room, where we have this set of rather comfortable dining chairs and this lovely Wedgwood Blue Lily China. What I've done is paired it up with my glass, very simple glass. With Nina Campbell. I love these soup or sauce with their own labels. And then a beautiful basket in the middle of the table to have flowers in. My candlesticks, I love raising candles high so you can walk, talk across. And then we have Jeeves in the corner here, ready to take all that, those crumbs off the table, which you've obviously created with the toast racks. And we go through here, we've got the family tree. We've got this wonderful gentleman here who looks incredibly important, or is very important. And lovely colour and all that ermine, nothing wrong with that. So we go now into the drawing room. And here we've got so really a good hang of pictures. I like the mix here of the two overscale portraits. And you can see I've used them here on top of rather contemporary half moon tables. Sweet little bucket chairs to sit in. A table groaning with blue and white of all sorts and types, some better than other, but actually all mixed up. You sort of never know. And there's a fabulous terrine here. And then these beautiful chairs with the hand painting with the shells on. And then we have, for the family favourite, we have this very, very nice dog bed. A picture of the little dog who's probably in doggy heaven by now. But anyway, I would like that very much for my dog. And my dog would very much like that. Um, and then here we have this wonderful collection of Chelichev. Rather unusual one here, not at all like his normal pictures, but has got that strength. I think it's really nice to have all this great big complex mix. We've got the Nina Hamlet of Dame Edith here. We've got a sicket up there. But basically I like hanging pictures like this because you can just put things up and they can all be mixed up, but they, if they mean something to you, um, I think it's a nice way of, of hanging pictures. And we have this rather wonderful portrait of Sir Sacheverell Sipple. I wonder what he's thinking. He's deep in thought, actually. He's probably wondering when on earth the artist is going to go home and leave him alone. Nice pair of tapestry chairs. Either side of the bookcase or the bureau bookcase. Lovely books in the in the bookcase. An interesting little collection of Edith Sitwell's books there. And an equally interesting collection of Osbert Sitwell here. And then we'll pass the little nursery wing with some wonderful, a fabulous rocking horse and a really tremendous doll's house here, which is always great fun. It's a lovely thing for a grandmother to give a grandchild because then you can have really decorate it and play with it, which is what I do, or did. Very nice model railway. And actually a rather sweet little bench here, which is being hidden by the Hornby trains. But I'm sure there'll be a connector for the Hornby train sets. And then we go into this extraordinary bedroom with these exquisite curtains, all this embroidery. It's been mounted onto this chocolate 
silk. And really, in the light, this embroidery is just, just beautiful. I mean, look at this. And I particularly love the headboard. And I don't think British Airways would be frankly pleased to see you arrive in that trunk, but it's got a use for at the end of the bed. And here we have the famous hat that if you were watching previous films you might have seen me wearing. I'm not going to put it on today. They made this hat. A set of six chairs of this embroidery. So hopefully whoever gets the bed will get the chairs as well. Nice little opera glasses and stuff here. Portrait of Georgia. And Amalia Bishop crown of um, Sir Chevron and a rather charming letter here. So quite a cosy bedroom, little teapot next to the bed and no doubt she was entertaining somebody. So we've got two mugs, a formidable medicine chest in case you really felt like hitting the medicine situation. And a very nice chair, I love these sort of chairs, they're so useful in a room just to add in one extra. There's only one, but you don't need more than one. So that's really where we're at at Druids on Monday night. <laughs>